I stand before the Human Rights Council as a survivor of the terrorist attack during the Hong Kong protest in 2019. Back then, I was targeted for exercising my free speech in condemning the violence and destruction caused by the members of terrorism, extremism, and also separatism in guise of the anti-extradition bloc. I'm here today because the knife that had stabbed me barely missed my heart, and I will not wish that happen again in a civic society, which is why I'm pleased to announce that the implementation of Article 23 of the Basic Law of the Hong Kong SAR will soon be fulfilled. This constitutional duty, which has been neglected for the last 25, 27 years in the city's return to the PRC in 1997, will finally be a reality with the support of nearly 2.2 million Hong Kong people. No one shall ever feel unsafe to the bullying, bullying and intimidation to the hands of the domestic terrorists in Hong Kong. Article 23 and the Hong Kong national security law will serve as a crucial safeguard protecting the national security and social stability of Hong Kong and to combat terrorism particularly. Equally important is that its implementation will codify necessary procedure, procedural safeties in line with the international human rights standards as enshrined in the ICCPR, etc., as stated in Article 39 of the Basic Law. Madam Chair, Hong Kong will be safer than ever before.